Hey guys, it's Steven here and welcome back to another first look and unboxing video and today we're going to have a look at the Droidbox T8S. So it's from the company Droidbox, it's an Android TV box, mini PC, HTPC, um, IPTV, whatever you want to do with that thing here. And the company Droidbox, it's based in the UK, they sell a lot of those products and the good thing is when you buy from them, they ship from the UK, that means fast shipping in the European Union and also no customs fee, so everything is included inside of the price. Now their flagship model, so the T8S right now, it's around 105 pounds, which is I think 150 euro. I mean quite expensive for an Android TV box, but um, if I would tell you right now that this little box here comes with a 2.5 inch SATA HDD bay integrated, then you would say, that's a fucking nice feature, and yes, it absolutely is. So that is actually my first box, which has a 2.5 inch SATA bay um, integrated and no external slot or whatever, and that's a really cool thing. So I'm really looking forward to this box here. As always, you can find a link to check it out down below in the description. So the specs, their official site, it's droidbox.com or UK, you can check it out down below in the description. Okay guys, then let's stop talking, but let's have a quick look at the specs and then let's do a quick unboxing. Now guys, a quick look at the box already tells us the main features of the Droid box. Now it's running the M-Logic S802 quad-core chipset and the CPU is clocked at 2.0 GHz. So here you can see it, a 9 Cortex quad-core. Then this combined with the 8-core Mali 450 GPU. And the Mali 450 GPU is quite powerful, it's an octa-core GPU and you can also find this in MTK chipset. Now um, the chipset in this configuration, I think it was released in 2014, so in the beginning, so it's a little bit older, but it definitely supports 4K output, and with the um, correct optimization, this should have no problem with 4K, but we'll definitely check it out in the full review and do some tests in Kodi. Okay, then it comes with Wi-Fi, so here on the box you can also see it comes with a huge antenna, which you can probably remove. Then 2GB of RAM, DDR3, 8GB of internal storage, so the good thing is that you can extend it with a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, which is a very good thing. You can also extend it with micro SD cards, only up to 32 gigs, at least they just say that in the datasheet. You can just connect USB HDDs, USB flash drives, whatever you want to. It supports Wi-Fi dual band, so 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, that's pretty good. HDMI 1.4b, so which also supports 4K output. Now that are basically the main specs and I would say now let's just go and let's open up the box. So there we go fellas, let's open up the box and let's see what we have got inside and I'm really excited so there we go and here at the top there's the droid box and this device is looking really sexy, I mean just check this out. Metal cover so the whole device is actually made out of metal, no plastic crap from China. Droid box logo here. And voila, so here we've got the 2.5 inch SATA HDD bay, some screws to open it up. And so far as I can see, there's already a hard drive inside. So I'm really excited how big it will be. Um, I think you can order a one terabyte hard drive. So it's around 50 pounds extra or something like that, but they include Western Digital hard drives. And we all know Western Digital is definitely the best you can get. Okay, um, so that's basically it. That is the box. We'll have a look at the box just in a second, but let's check out the other accessories. And there we go. Some more cardboard material. Uh, let's drop it. Oh yeah, um, some more packaging material. And I think um, this gamepad was in there. And holy crap, this is looking like a Blackberry, just more complicated. And so far as I can see, there's a touch pad, so left, right, and you can also use both fingers. I haven't seen something like that before. And yeah, um, it's a, a full keyboard as you can see, so actually full size without numpad, and wow, really cool. We have your mouse buttons, then what do we have here? Oh yeah, you can recharge it, so there's a USB port, off and on switch. And the receiver is inside, and here some nice material for better grip. So you can use it as a gamepad, probably also air mouse, touchpad. This is looking really nice. It is looking like a hybrid between a keyboard, a PlayStation 4 controller, and a mouse. So really cool thing. I think you have to purchase this extra. I think it's 10 or 15 pounds or something like that. But looks like it would be worth it. But I definitely need to check it out regarding battery lifetime and everything. Okay, um, yeah, here we have a user manual, so Droidbox i8, um, very short manual, 
It doesn't say so much about the device, but we're going to check it out. Then here we have the charger. Unfortunately, because it's from the UK, it comes with the UK power socket connector. And in my country, I cannot use it, so I've got myself such an adapter. And this adapter, for some reason, doesn't fit in my power socket. So now I'm a little bit, yeah, in trouble. Um, I will just open up the power supply and I will just make my own connector, which you shouldn't do, so this is quite dangerous. But for the review, this should be okay and probably. Um, I will maybe buy an adapter, but it's weekend and I have not really much time, so I will just build something at home, maybe. Okay, so that's the adapter. Then um, it's outputting 5 volts and 3 amps, so that is 15 watts. And you definitely need so much power because you have the hard drive inside, which you need to power too. And here the DC in check, as you can see, so this is looking good so far. Okay, then let's check out the rest. So here we have an HDMI cable. Um, it's still sealed, so it comes here with golden connectors. I mean, we can get it out of the box. So nothing too fancy. HDMI cable, gold-plated. It's around, I would say, one meter long. So to connect the box to your TV. Then what do we have here? Here we have an USB cable, and that is probably for the remote control, so to connect it to the USB port to charge it, because it comes with a battery inside. And I see there's also a microphone on that thing, so this is looking really, really good. Okay, next thing we've got here, it's a, yeah, what's that? A remote or air mouse? I guess it's a normal remote, right? Okay, um, yeah, normal remote. It comes here with a lot of functions, that's pretty good. Also to switch between aspect ratio, subtitles, audio, zoom, AV, yeah, cursor, but you probably have to um, to use those um, pads, so left, right, up and down. Doesn't look to me like an air mouse, yeah, um, it's a normal IR um, remote control with battery. Okay, that's nice. I think they also sell an air mouse, but I think that pad here is way cooler. <laughs> okay, and here we have a user guide, probably only in English. And yes, it comes in English with a lot of tutorial links. That's pretty good. They have um, their own YouTube channel or on Tiny or whatever. Looking really nice so far. Not too much information here, but I think you can download some better manual on the internet. And yeah, so far that's everything you can find inside of the box. And I would say let's go now and let's have a closer look at those products. Now let's have a closer look at this little mini keyboard because I really like that thing. It's looking so strange. Now in order to use it, you have to get out this little receiver from your back cover. So it actually looks like this. You have here a little case and in there you can find the receiver. So just take off here the back plate, the little one here. And then you have to plug this one here into a free USB port on your box. But basically you could use that little keyboard on every device you want to. And it has the Droid Box logo on there, but it also works on other devices. So really great thing actually. Then let's have a look at this little keyboard here. Now it's really lightweight and it comes with LED backlight. So that's something I absolutely like. Because um, just imagine you, you're sitting in the dark and this is a full-size keyboard. It even comes with the F buttons here at the top. And just imagine you need to type something. You will never find the buttons. This is impossible. They are so small and close together. So LED backlight is something which is really important. Unfortunately, this doesn't come with a gyroscope. So this is no air mouse. You still have to use the cursor here to navigate. And um, yeah, it's just like the normal remote control, but it comes with a full-size keyboard and a touchpad. Now what I would suggest is get yourself a gyroscope mouse. You can order them really cheap and I think you can order them also in the droid box shop or get one from China. They are really, really cheap and the normal remote control, it's just a pain because um, you have to switch into cursor mode then use the buttons here. Just imagine you need to type something. This takes ages. For typing, this is definitely great. And you also have, for instance, mouse features like left mouse button, right mouse button, just like on the computer. And you can also use the touchpad for that. So here, right mouse click, left mouse click. And in the middle, you can basically scroll up and down, which is very useful because scrolling usually really takes a lot of time on those boxes. And um, if you can do it like this on the pad, this is a very nice feature. Okay, volume, next track, blah, blah, blah. So all the basic features in here. Then let's turn it around because I just removed the back cover just to check out the battery because I was really curious um, which battery is inside here. And we have a lithium ion battery pack, 3.7 volts. Capacity is 450 milliamp hours. Now this device needs absolutely no 
battery but um, the LED backlight well this will drain some battery so um, 450 I think it's okay for a couple of days but I need to check this out it depends if you have the LED backlight on and I need to test this in the next days to see how good the battery lifetime is but I think it costs 15 euro or 15 pounds so for the money I think this keyboard is definitely worth it probably they are cheaper in China but well I don't know guys okay at the top we have the switch and the USB port and that's basically um, the whole mini keyboard here and so far I really like it but I still miss a gyroscope mouse which is definitely cooler because it would be just like on the Wii with the Wii mode you could control your mini PC like this and it's definitely worth it so if you don't have a gyroscope mouse get yourself one now here's the droid box and unfortunately I cannot power it on because um, the adapter doesn't fit in my power socket for some reason. I will have to get one on Monday and then we can do the review. Okay, so here you can see it. The top it's made out of aluminum, very solid, looks really good. No sharp edges, no gaps, that's great. Here we have the droid box logo, so that's the front side. And here we have the power switch. Feels good to press, really hard, that's good. Then here we have the IR receiver and here we have some LED display. So basically I think this just displays the time or maybe some important information. Now here on the right side of the droid box we have the SD MMC slot. So you can extend the internal memory with SD cards up to 32 gigs. Here we have three USB ports, probably USB 2.0. And here we have the restore button or reset button. Basically in that hole there's a little button, you can press it with a pin or with a pen or whatever. And if you press it then um, you just set back the droid box to factory settings. Now here's the back side of the device. And first of all here we have the Wi-Fi antenna. You can rotate it, you can adjust the angle. And it supports dual band, so 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Unfortunately you cannot remove or replace the Wi-Fi antenna so it's also fixed inside of the case and maybe we can take it apart next week. Then here we have the DC in check, so 5 volts. Unfortunately, yeah, I cannot plug it in because the adapter here doesn't fit in my power socket. I don't know why. Then here we have the Ethernet port and it also ports Ethernet and Wi-Fi, so that's a good thing because my Wi-Fi sometimes really sucks. HDMI out, it's HDMI 1.4. And here we have Cinch out, so SCART or how you call that left and right audio and here video and also optical audio out if you have an amplifier but I don't have any home amplifier so far they are really expensive but maybe I will get a cheap one. Okay guys then let's have a look at the bottom side. So there we go here's the bottom side and you can see in each corner we have such rubber pads or stands and that's really good because it's not sliding around on your desk and you have better heat dissipation so you can see we have here a lot of those holes or grids so that the heat can go out because um, it's a fanless design so we just have a heatsink inside and that's basically it. Okay um, now here you can see a sticker with the serial number and MAC address here it's the Droidbox T8S version 1.0 and here you can see the hard drive so they gave me a 160 gigabyte hard drive for free thank you guys this is really awesome and here you can see the plate which actually covers the hard drive it has here some slots so that the heat can go out and basically um, to open it up you just have to unscrew the six screws and then you can lift it off and slide it out okay um, then let's have a look here at the hard drive and now you can see it's actually not a real bay so it's just a lot of space in here and here we have a SATA connector so let me get that out if I can do it. Okay, that's a, that's a bit bad here in front of the camera, but let's try it like this. And there we go. So you can see the hard drive now comes out. And here we have the SATA connector. So here um, the data cable and here we have the four pin SATA power connector. Okay, so let me detach it and there we go. Um, Come on, go off. Fits pretty tight by the way. Okay, and there we go. And um, the hard drive they gave me, it's a 160 gigabyte Western Digital Scorpio Blue, 2.5 inches, so big thanks. This is really super awesome. And in there you can see the cable, so it's connected here to the motherboard. And maybe let me zoom in a little bit so I can show you that. So this is how the droid box looks from the inside, and here you can see the red mainboard. And here we have the heart of the droid box. So under that passive cool block you will find the chipset, and you see there is no fan inside. That's why you have some massive ventilation holes on the sides, bottom, so that the heat can go out of the device. Then here we have the LED display, so that's basically the front, and here we have the connection 
connectors like the SATA power connector and the SATA port. It's actually some nice design, it's looking really good and I'm really looking forward to the review. I will definitely check out the speeds which we can get on the hard drive and everything and I'm really excited um, about the performance and if it gets hot because the heatsink. Yeah, it's really kind of small. Oh yeah, so we're now here at the end of this first look and unboxing video and so far the Droid Box T8S looks really good. Big thanks to Droid Box for sending one out to unbox and review. And I'm looking really forward to the review, want to bring you some 4K movies on my 4K monitor. I want to do some comparison between other TV boxes I've had and which I have here. So you can see um, the performance difference between the chipsets. But not only the chipset is important, so also how good it is optimized. Some boxes have problems in Kodi. And I just want to bring you some guides on what you should focus on, how important the chipset is, which chipsets are currently really good, and all that. And for sure, bring you a full in-depth review on the Droidbox T8S. Now you see it comes with a lot of accessories, but um, just to say it, you have to buy those things extra. They were just included for the review like the hard drive and everything by default it comes naked so with HDMI cable with um, that remote here the power adapter and I think that's it but still nice quality and I absolutely like the 2.5 inch HDD SATA bay okay guys then thank you so much for watching this unboxing and first look video the review will come on Monday Tuesday so stay tuned and once again guys stay fresh have a nice day and bye bye see ya